For section 12.3, problem 14, we'll be investigating geometric series. The distinguishing, the, the distinguishing characteristic of geometric series is that each successive term is, um, a is the original term times a certain factor. But in this case, we start off with a1, and we need to find a6. So we can write a2 equals a1 times r. Or in other words, 5 times 2 equals a2, which equals 10. Likewise, a3 is a2 times r, or simply a1 times r squared. Now we can continue this. a4 is a3 times r, which is a2 times r squared, or a1 times r cubed. Continuing with this, a5 would have been a4 times r, or simply a1 times r to the fourth. a6 is a1 times r to the fifth. That means we can write a1, which is 5, times r, which is 2, to the fifth power. 2 to the fifth power is 32, so we have 5 times 32, which equals 160. A6 equals 160. Now, we also need to find the generic formula. The generic formula for any geometric series is always a naught r to the n equals a n. However, we do not at the moment have a naught. For a1, we could write a1 equals r to the first power times a naught. Since we know what a1 is, that's 5. r to the 1 is 2 to the first power. a naught. a naught becomes 5 over 2. That means that our generic formula becomes five over two times two to the n power equals a to the n. That is our generic formula.